first off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh, who this world only calls God. In the name of Yahweh Shai, who this world only calls Jesus and the Holy Spirit in Paleo Hebrew, it's called Allah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahach, Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who tell me this truth. South Texas taught her brothers out there just teaching this word and truth and sincerity and peace. Blessings and healings unto the elect and the multitude because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today, man, I want to do a video on this. Okay, I did a video on this before. I think two weeks ago, you know, it was saying that uh, the eclipse is going to go over, you know, places called Egypt. But, you know, this dude been doing his due diligence and I always like seeing this, you know, what people come up with. But it says on uh, April 8th, the great American eclipse of 2024 will cross over seven U.S. locations named Nineveh. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> we know that the Assyrians was ruling Nineveh. They took down the northern kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And they got destroyed. You know, point blank period. You know, Yahweh Hashem and Shai destroy them for their wickedness. You know? And um, I'm going to get a little bit of that today, but you know, going down here and reading, it says, now the second great eclipse is almost here, and the path of that eclipse will cross over seven U.S. locations named uh, Nineveh. Nineveh, Texas, Nineveh, Missouri, Nineveh, Indiana, Nineveh, Ohio, Nineveh, um, Pennsylvania, Nineveh, Virginia, and Nineveh, New York. You know, and um, this is no coincidence because America is spiritual Nineveh. It is spiritual Egypt. It is spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. It is every wicked thing every other nation has done in the past in one. Okay, this Babylon the Great, okay, this is do as thou wilt country, man. Do what you want to do. Okay, with no consequences, but the consequences are coming. This is why Yahweh Shemeshah is bringing an eclipse. Okay, and this is why it's going over these locations. They ain't Nineveh, you don't, that's not a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? Um, clips. Let me get this real quick. Um, eclipse. Okay. Eclipses were regarded as tokens of God's anger. Okay. And they are, man. And the Habash and Meshach said that the uh, sun will be blotted out in the last days. Okay. Um, let me just get a scripture real quick on it. Um, about eclipses. I know it's in Joel. Before them, the earthquakes, the heavens tremble, the sun and moon grow dark, and all the stars lose their, lose their brightness. The sun will be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. So this is a a sign of the end. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Yahweh Shemeshah uses the sun and the moon for signs. You know what I'm saying? Um, Genesis. Um... 1 and 14, then God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Okay, so this is what um, Yehobah Shemeshah set up the sun and the moon for. Okay, the moon till time. Okay, and then um, the sun is set up, you know, to, uh, and the moon going to be turned into blood. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the sun, you know, it gives life to the planet. But, um, this is, uh, Jonah. You know, we all know Jonah, man. You know, um, he he's the one that ran from the Lord, but the uh, fish gobbled him up and uh, brought him to Nineveh. <laughs> you know, he tried to run from the Lord. And, um, this is Jonah 1 and 1. Now the word of Yahweh Shemeshach came on the Jonah, the son of Amittatiah, saying arise go to Nineveh that great city and cry against it basically saying prophesy against it tell them that it's going down you know what I'm saying that's what the prophets of old were doing and that's what the prophets of today are doing they're doing the same thing they was doing back in the day okay they're on the street corners prophesying against America man prophesying against NATO and the EU you know what I'm saying and breaking down the scriptures just like Jonah was doing 
the prophets that had been before me and before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against ki great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You know, so that's what Jonah was, you know, told to do by the Lord. Arise, go to Nineveh, you know what I'm saying? But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarnish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa and he found a ship going to Tarnish. Okay, so he tried to run from the Lord, you know. But eventually, you know, Yahweh and Meshach, you know, gobbled him up with a fish. Okay, then Jonah prayed unto the Lord, his God, out of the out of the fish's belly. You know what I'm saying? He got gobbled up. You know, he was in a whale, basically. But then what? And uh, and the word of Yahweh and Meshach came on the Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it, preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of Yahweh Shemeshah. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days journey. So you can read up on that, you know, and then uh, he was telling Jonah they should be, I mean, Nineveh, they should be overthrown. Okay, and they eventually was overthrown. You know what I'm saying? They eventually fell. Also, you can read about this in Nahum, the overthrow of uh, Nineveh. Okay. Um... Nineveh's complete ruin, okay, and if you can, you can read this, but I'll read a little bit of it, because uh, America's going to get the same judgment, but worse, you know what I'm saying, America's going to get destroyed like Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, but it says, woe to the bloody city, it is full of lies and robbery, the prey departeth not, is not America full of lies and robbery, was not this land, you know, built by blood? You know, point blank period. It says, because of the multitude of whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts, behold, I am against thee, saith Yehobah Shemeshah of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, meaning Yehobah Shemeshah will expose you for all your wrongdoings, and that's the same thing he's doing in America right now. Okay, you seeing all these people get exposed left and right. And I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. The same thing he's doing to America, man. Okay, that he said he would do to America. Okay, Babylon the Great. Okay, it says that he would expose Edom because that's who's ruling right now. Okay, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee bow, and I will set thee. As a gazing stock, the same thing that's happening in America, man. You know, what's this word for gazing stock? Um, you know, long appearance, seeing sight, appearance, sight. So, Yahweh Shemeshah got his eyes on this place, and everybody got their eyes on America, and now they're, now everybody basically hates Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? Everybody thought this was a good place, but all that, you know, has um, been done away with. Okay, so I just wanted to get that out the way. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to talk about this too. Now, um, I looked up Nineveh, you know, on uh, Google. It says Nineveh was a flourishing capital of the Assyrian Empire and was the home of King Sennacherib, king of Assyria, during the biblical reign of King Hezekiah and the lifetime of Judea, the Judean prophet. Um, Isaiah. Now, another thing I wanted to get, okay, is this. The last Assyrian king, his name was Sardanapalus. Okay. Um, he was with his concubines and women's activities, making women clothes in purple and soft wool. He dressed as a woman and used makeup and adjutants like uh, corsain, so his body was more delicate than the most pampered women's he made his voice like a woman's and held great feasts where he had sex with men and women. So they was going the fuck off in, a, in, in Nineveh, man. Just like they was going off in Sodom and Gomorrah. So Yahweh and Meshach eventually took them down, man. Okay, just like he's going to do this place. And it just is what it is. Now, another thing is, you can go read this in Second Kings, but I'll read it right now. And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Hezekiah which was the seventh year of Hosea, the son of Eli, king of Israel, 
that Shalemans, our king of Assyria, came up against Samaria and besieged it. In the end of three years, they took it, even in the sixth year of Hezekiah, and in the ninth month of Hosea, king of Israel, Samaria was taken. And the king of Assyria did carry away Israel into Assyria, and put away them in Halah, and harbor by the river of Gozan, and the cities of the Medes. If you know anything about um, the history around this time, you know, the Assyrian people took down the northern kingdom, okay? And the northern kingdom fled to, Amer to the Americas. That's why, you know, Christopher Columbus went over there and people was actually over there. Those are the people who fled, okay, from um, Assyrian captivity. And you can go read that in Second Ezra um, 13, verse 40. It says, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoner out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king. Whom Shalazanzar, the king of Assyria, led away captive, he carried them over the waters, so he came, they, into another land. Okay? But they took this counsel among themselves, talking about the northern tribes, and they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, the Americas. You know what I'm saying? That they might keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they didn't keep the statues, that's why they was building pyramids over there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's why you how about some Shah sent uh, Christopher Columbus over there. And now we're in Babylon the Great, as we are right now. Okay, so everything is playing out how you how about some Shah wants it to um, play out. Okay, it's his movie. He's doing what he wants to do. You know what I'm saying? So this is how those people got over to the Americas first before anybody else. Okay, now... The things I wanted to get is Baruch chapter 4, verse 32. And then I'm going to leak into America, man. It says, Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Now, they put us in slavery. You know what I'm saying? They put the Northern Kingdom in slavery over here as well. Okay, the Latinos, the Native Americans, those are the 10 tribes, nine tribes, basically. You know what I'm saying? It says, For as she rejoiced at thy ruin, and was glad at thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. And I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. So, yeah, how about Shemeshah destroyed um, Nineveh? Okay, he sent Jonah over there. Okay, as it says over here, Isaiah was around that time. You know, and all this and all that. Okay, and they're going to prophesy. Okay, the downfall, they prophesied the downfall of um, Nineveh, and now the prophets of today, they're basically prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. Okay, the prophets are back, they've been back. Okay, and these people are doing the same thing Jonah did. Okay, but they didn't run, you know. Now, um, sign of the prophet Jonah, so let me get this real quick. Because everybody wants to sign. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, how about some inside is basically giving you a sign, okay? There, this is not a coincidence that these places are called Nineveh because America acts like Nineveh, man. America acts like Sodom and Gomorrah. America acts like Egypt. America acts like Babylon did. That's why it's called Babylon the Great. Babylon means confusion. This place is a great, everybody's so confused because of all the evil people that rule the media, so forth and uh, so on. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to get this. This is uh, Matthew 12 and 39. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. And you have us in Messiah already got the signs, but these, these people seek after a sign. You know? And there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Now, what did Jonas do? Prophesied the downfall of Nineveh. <laughs> and the prophets, again, today, are a sign, man. They are the sign, because they're prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America, in which you should repent. Okay, that's why these people are here, to edu edify you on the ways of coming back to the Lord. Now, going back to... um. Nahum, it says, you know, woe to the bloody city. And I want to get some things real quick because 
America is a city built by blood men. This is how they got this land. So it's going to go down by blood. It's not, it's just, that's how things work. Okay. And you enslaved the Israelites at, at that. So miserable are going to be the cities that have done that. And the people that have was involved with it. And their children's children's all the way down to their descendants. But it says, So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are, for blood it defileth the land. And the blood cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. And it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? America was built on violence. It's going to go out with violence. And nobody can say otherwise. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. You know, let me get this real quick. Joel chapter 3. The nations will be judged. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, and I will, get, and I will gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part in my land. So, you know, you have, they scattered the Israelites, okay, the transatlantic slave trade, okay, we're scattered all over the world, we're in America, we're not even supposed to be over here, but we was brought over here, okay, by force. And they parted the land, meaning the land of Israel is parted by two people. Who's over there fighting right now? Palestinians and the Edomites. You know what I'm saying? Who call themselves Jewish. Okay? And it just is what it is. You know, how about Shai is going to judge the nations, man? That's why World War III is going to take place. This is why America is going to have to fight Russia. This is why the nukes are going to go off. So forth and uh, so on. You know, let me get this. Galatians 6 and 7. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked for whosoever a man soweth that he may also reap. So Nineveh reaped what they had, right? They they got judged. You know what I'm saying? Okay, because they was a bloody city. They was the, the kings dressing like women, acting like people do today, acting like Sodom and Gomorrah. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to get the same thing, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to reap what you sow. And it just is what it is. You know, um, let me get this real quick. <coughs> um, Colossians 3 and 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong for which he have done. And there is no respecter of persons. So, Yahweh Shemeshah has no respecter of persons, man. You, you, Whatever you have done good, you'll get judged for it. Whatever you have done bad, you'll get judged for it. It just is what it is. Yahweh Shemeshah. Is not a respecter of persons. You know what I'm saying? And let me get this real quick. Um, Sodom and Gomorrah. Because the Assyrians, they knew about Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Everybody knew about it. You know, but they were still acting like, you know what I'm saying? Um, the people of Sodom. Okay? And uh, they're going to get what they deserve. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Okay, but do these people care? No, they don't. Okay, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was set up as an example of what not to do, but these people do it anyway. These people do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to get what they deserve. And the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, okay? Just like Nineveh's sin was very grievous, see how much and the took it out. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is. You know? But um, I want to get some more scriptures. You know, let me go over here. Um, This is a... Uh, let's go to um, Isaiah 47 real quick. Isaiah 47, Lament for Babylon, talking about, you know, um, America, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldees, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, okay, and this is what's happening in America today, this place is getting exposed, everybody's coming to the realization that they lied, and they don't hold up to the values that they have told everybody else, they got their own set of values, Okay, they, they're just colonizers and occupiers, rape robbers and murderers, man.
Okay, take the millstone and grind the mill, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shemeshah's his name, the Holy One of Israel, sit in silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldees, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Okay. Once again, we went off and we was given over to the Assyrians, you know, in the uh, second letter. That's why it says, because they obey not the voice of Yahweh Shemeshah, the power, but transgress his covenant, all that Moses, the servant of Yahweh Shemeshah, commanded, and would not hear them nor do them. So Yahweh Shemeshah put them in slavery. That's the judgment that Yahweh Shemeshah has for the people that he gave the laws to. If you don't keep these laws, one of the um, curses are that you'll go into slavery, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's our fault, but Yahweh Shemeshah is going to judge you for that, man. Because it says, I was wroth with my people. I had polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Thou didn't show them no mercy, okay? We, we got to show no mercy from none of these people, man. Upon the ancient has that verily heavily laid thy yoke, and thou hast said, I shall be a lady forever. That's what Americans think. They think this place is just going to, you know, um, rule forever. And can anybody tell me, you know, any nation in history that has gotten everything by rape, robbery, and murdering, and built by blood? Did it Latin, did Greece, did the Greek Empire rule forever? Did Nineveh rule forever? You know what I'm saying? Did Rome rule forever? Okay, so America is going to be the same. So thou didst not lay these things to heart, neither did this remember the latter end of it. So you didn't take into consideration the things that you was doing. You was just having fun in the moment. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what Esau is all about. He's all about, you know, having fun now and not worrying about the future. That's why his the blessing got taken because, he, 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 you know, they're not patient people. They're corner people at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, listen, man, it just is what it is. You know, it's no coincidence that Nineveh, you know, um, that the eclipse is going through these Nineveh, Texas, Nineveh, Missouri, Nineveh, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, New York. Okay, New York, man, it's like Sodom and Gomorrah. New York is like Nineveh. New York is like Egypt. New York is like Babylon. You know, Miami. You know what I'm saying? All these San Francisco. You know what I'm saying? So there is, there's, there's not a coincidence that Yahweh and Meshach is uh, doing this thing, man. You know, he's going to destroy this place. That's why this place is what? Getting X'd out. Okay? Getting X'd out, man. Okay? There was an eclipse on the 2017, and there's going to be one this year in April. April. Okay? It's going to be dark outside. Okay, you have a bunch of Mishai sending the signs. Okay, it's rolling through Nineveh, man. So, I say that to say this, repent, man. We at the end. You know, um, this is something to, this is a sign from the Lord, bro. Okay, and what, what does an eclipse mean? You know, it's basically judgment from the Lord. That judgment is coming. Okay, he's sending a sign. So, double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS and talking the truth. And call Halayi Halba Shemeshadah 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 Shemeshadah